Here is, in, in every street, you see anti-Semitism on full display. So what does that really say about our values? Let's bring in Middle East analyst and distinguished professor at Toro University, Thane Rosenbaum. Also joining us, Newsmax foreign policy analyst and author of Iran and Imperious Republic and U.S. policy while lead Farris. So, gentlemen, thanks for being with us. If there's one positive emerging from all this devastation in Israel, it's that a really giant bright light is now shining on the true intentions of the progressive agenda here in the U.S. The Marxists, socialists, anti-Semites, and America haters have always been operating within the Democratic Party, but in the shadows. Now it's on full display, uh, these pro-Hamas, anti-Israel rallies. But Thane, hopefully this is a huge wake-up call for our country. Rob, not on campus. Yeah, no, right? you're right. Uh, you know, we have a real moral clarity problem. What's up is down. Uh, barbarians are being called freedom fighters. Israel's self-defense is called genocide when the people they're fighting have a charter that calls for the killing of all Jews. Rob, that includes me here in Brooklyn. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, the Palestinian issue has essentially created an opportunity to license, give a green light to anti-Semitism. And the point that you made earlier, the enemies of Israel are the enemies of America. Uh, welcome America to the Arab street. This is what you see throughout Arab Muslim nations, and it has been imported throughout Europe. Death to America, death to Israel, death to the great Satan, death to uh, Iranian novelists, death to the Pope. This is only one culture that does this, and we're seeing shades of it, and it all is also related to death to America. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll see uh, the, the scene today in D.C. Eventually, one of these things will include the burning of an American flag. No, no, no question. And, um, well, I want to ask you, so what Thane was just saying, when, when they're shouting death to Israel, uh, by extension, they're, you know, against all Western values, basically. So uh, do you see that, that correlation between the radicals here in this country doing that, screaming that, and what's happening uh, over there in the Middle East? I've been seeing this for the last 33 years. I've been a fighter in the war of ideas. I've published three, four books. I saw the difference immediately after the Cold War, after 9-11. And I may say now we have changed as well. Uh, our administrations have changed. In 2009, remember that former President Obama went to Cairo. He addressed the Muslim Brotherhood. He sent a letter to the Grand Ayatollah of Iran. So what has been happening in my modest experience is that anti-Semitism is now weaponized by something larger, which is called the jihadist ideology. They are using the old anti-Semitism, the East European born anti-Semitism, and making it into a much more powerful tool to go against the United States and Israel. And as you just mentioned earlier, not just America and Israel, but against Europe as well, against the Iranian people oppressed by the same uh, a threat. Same thing could go, uh, you know, regarding the minorities, Christian minorities, Yazidis. It's a worldwide confrontation which now has landed openly on our campuses. I've been on these campuses for so many years. I've seen the evolution of that ideology. And the worst type of it is now trying to isolate Israel, break down the Abraham Accords, and continue the persecution of civil societies in the Middle East. That's not just anti-Semitism. It's on steroids at this point in time. Yep. Wally well, Farris, Thane Rosenbaum, it was a quick hit today, but you're, going, you're both great. So thanks for being with us. Thank you, Thank Rob. You. All right.